How do you write a short comic story? Short comics are really amazing because it allows you to try out a lot of different kinds of comics, a lot of different styles, a lot of different styles of storytelling in a shorter amount of time. It's also great to find out if making comics is something that you will want to do. So in this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to create a short comic story. Welcome to Pencils and Stories. My name is Henrike and I make and teach comics. If you want to make your own comics as well, subscribe to the YouTube channel for, at this moment, monthly videos. Yes, you heard it right. I said weekly videos last week, but I decided to take it a little bit more slow to allow myself to get back into the video process. And also, I'm still struggling with my energy and I'm still struggling with my day job and doing this on the side. So I decided to make monthly videos. I will still send out a weekly email though to my email list. So if you want to get some more comic tips in your inbox every week, then I definitely recommend subscribing to my email list. The link is in the description below. Go to pencilsandstories.com slash extra. But for now, the YouTube video is going to be monthly and I hope to build up a little bit of buffer so I can eventually get back to weekly videos because that is the goal. A lot of artists create these long epic comic stories and they are amazing, but there's also a ton of artists who make short comics. Some make gag day comics that have recurring characters, recurring events. Other artists make stories about their life or their experiences and they're like one shot comics. Other people have little tiny stories about characters that they want to tell. There's all kinds of different short comics. There's anthologies where people put in short stories. There's all kinds of different short comics out there. And you might think that Making a short comic story is very different from making a longer comic story. Well, yes and no. Stories are in essence basically the same. It's just the amount of information you put into one or the other and the tempo, the speed with which you tell the story is of course different. In a long comic story, you can go super deep and you can explore all the inner workings of your characters all the intricate plot details and everything in a short comic you don't have the time for that it doesn't mean that a short story cannot be deep it definitely can you just have to hit it a little bit sooner and you have to condense your information into a, a few panels or even maybe one panel but story the essence of story is still the same there is a character and the character has a goal the character wants something um, you could also approach it from the perspective of the character having a problem that they want to solve. Often that is a goal that a character has, having a problem and wanting to solve it. And then that obstacle that stands in the way of the character and their goal, or the character and the solution to their problem, that obstacle is basically your plot. In a longer story you have an entire second arc to make the character face all kinds of obstacles and obstacles and push through to where they eventually want to go. In a short comic, characters basically do the same, they just do it in a very short time. So there's a character who wants something. Garfield, very well-known example, very short comic. Sometimes it's a strip of three panels, sometimes it's an entire page, but Garfield is, is based on a very, very simple premise. There is a very lazy cat who loves eating, is very sarcastic and basically comments on their owner's life, which is John. John was kind of sad. He was like the opposite of Garfield, which creates this really great tension between the two of them. Oftentimes Garfield just wants to eat. He just wants to relax. He wants to sleep. And John wants to get Garfield to be a little bit more active, lose some weight, listen to him. Very often the comic strips are based on something like that. It might seem in some strips that there's not actually a problem. It can be very subtle, but there often still is. And it can be very simple. Garfield just wants to continue napping, but John keeps bothering him. Or John wants to go out on a date, but he faces all kinds of obstacles just because of the person he is. And Garfield has some commentary on that. So there's always some kind of it's a big word to use the word conflict, but that is basically still what it is. And then the progression of your story is going to be your character searching for the solution. The solution can be a very thoughtful ending. The character might discover that this, the thing they were searching for is actually not really what they needed and they get another kind of solution or they find another solution is actually better or it can be a fun twist. You see this often in humorous comic in Gagaday strips 
where the character thought they were going to do something or the character thought that that was something that was happening but actually something else was happening all the while there's this really great comic and every single comic that i mention i'm going to link to in the description below i'm gonna put the name so you can study all of these short stories for yourself and see how the creator set up the joke or the story or the solution so there's a really really great strip called buddy gator comics that is basically it's a super wholesome comic strip uh, it's I think it's mostly popular on Instagram. It's where they post uh, the most but they also might have a website It's very often about animals who try to help each other out, but sometimes the creator will set it up like a Character is actually looking to be threatening to another character or it might look like one character because of having a long neck as a giraffe or or being very slow like a sloth they actually might have a problem but the other animal characters always find a way to include the other characters or the character that looks like a predator actually was trying to help another character there's always some kind of twist somewhere in this comic so that could be a great solution to a problem that you introduce it's often two panels three panels maximum i think these comics are really great to study to see how that is handled in some comics there might not be a solution or the solution is actually just the fact that you have to accept that there is not really a solution because the creator is aggravating the problem that the character has and in that sense it becomes relatable. Very good example of this is Sarah Scribbles which is created by Sarah Anderson. These are really really great comics about everyday kind of problems. Very very relatable, very recognizable things and often there's not really a solution is just her taking the daily problems that we all face and aggravating them even more and making making it kind of funny and in in an essence that is kind of a solution is making a problem that we all face making it kind of funny and go and we go like oh yes i have that too you know that kind of stuff um that makes it very very relatable and you know it gives us a solution in a sense that we can recognize our own problems in somebody else's comic and we can all laugh about it in the comments of the comic strip. So that's basically it. A story is nothing more than a character who has a goal or who has a problem and is trying to find the solution. It's trying to get to that goal or trying to find a solution to their problem. And the way that they get there, that is the story. When they get a solution or if they get the solution, is the ending and this can be a comic strip of three panels this can be a short story of a few pages and this also applies to a very very long epic story so if you see a short comic somewhere it could be a run into a standalone comic on twitter look at these elements even if it's a very simple comic about an experience that somebody has see how they ended that see how they start the story how they take you through it and how they end it. Study that stuff and you will be off to making your own short comics. So that was it for this week's video. I wanna thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. Please share it with people if you think it's going to be helpful for others. For now, have a great week and go and make some comics.